Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keeping it free, .blogspot.com. This morning, I was listening to sports radio, and as you can imagine, the story involving Richie Incognito of the Miami Dolphins was on every station, and it just got to be too much. I think in the mainstream media, they try to reinforce values that society wants to believe that it has, right? We want a good reflection back from the mirror as we look into it, right? But there's a certain fakeness in the whole thing. And I think really the uh, online sports community and gambling community needs to see the entire picture right now make no mistake in the real world the Miami Dolphin locker room is clearly a hostile work environment right there are racial slurs being thrown around so cavalierly that guys are calling you up and leaving the racial slurs on your voicemail system or telephone answering machine right I'm not here to say that racial slurs are proper in any context. But what I am here to say is that there's a sizable group of the world, right? Sizable, that appreciates talent. And let me just say, you know, I think it's the cold, hard truth that the way this story ends will be that Richie Incognito, probably next season, is going to end up in some team starting lineup because of course Richie Incognito and this is the most overlooked fact in the whole story is a pro bowler right Richie Incognito has talent and I'm just here to tell you that you'd be surprised how talented people continue to resurface and continue to get opportunities I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just here to say that's the way it is. If you're looking for reality, look in that direction. You know, in boxing, we'll root for guys who have ongoing problems, right? There are fighters out there right now who have had problems getting visas because of legal problems right bordering on criminal activity right allegations of abuse domestic violence you have guys who really have governments wondering whether or not they even want the guy in their country and yet we continue to root for them we all know that in entertainment you have actors who have been in rehab more than once for the hardest drugs imaginable right cocaine whatever right the guys in rehab multiple times then of course the guy segues into making very lucrative very popular superhero movies where he's the lead character and of course the movies are marketed to children you also have in the music industry you have a guy right now who you know, has been involved in highly publicized domestic violence uh, incidences, according to the allegations, right, has had to cop a plea bargain, and yet this guy is still a best-selling musician who's also, you know, making films in the uh, film industry. So, all I can say is, as we listen to the mainstream media and everyone say, oh, this is an outrage and stuff like that, Keep your eye on markets. Keep your eye on incognito. Figure out where he ends up. Let me just say too, incognito is going to look attractive to some teams. Because, of course, incognito was popular in the Miami Dolphin locker room. Right? Chris Carter was on radio this morning on the Mike and Mike show, and he pointed out, then he spoke with guys in that Miami Dolphin locker room. And quite frankly, they'd prefer to have Incognito back than the victim of the taunting. 
right? Number one, Incognito can play. Number two, Incognito was a team leader. He was on the team's leadership council, right? He was popular. Number three, the people in the locker room understood that Incognito's act was tongue-in-cheek, right? Incognito has several African-American friends in that locker room, right? Understand, if you're a football player, it's a foxhole mentality. You need to know that the other guys on your line have your back. You need to know that they share your toughness, right? Rookie hazing isn't arbitrary. It actually serves a purpose. It's to let rookies know that they need to earn their stripes. It's to toughen them up. I'm not here to say that they went about it the right way. Racial slurs and stuff like that, you can toughen up a guy without going in that direction. Right? But understand, there was a method to the madness. Over the next 48, 72 hours, no doubt the press is going to try to paint Richie Incognito as, you know, some Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy type figure. Right? Just understand that in the dining room, where, of course, you know, um, the guy getting taunted, Martin, you know, got up and left. Just understand that Richie Incognito wasn't alone in taunting him. Right? Just understand that there was a certain team unity. Right? Members of the offensive line were taunting him. Understand to some, it's taunting. To others, it's tongue-in-cheek. Right? Whatever you think about it, understand, this is what goes on in sports locker rooms, not just football, but basketball, baseball, to build team unity. Right? You try to let rookies know that they have to earn their stripes. Sometimes these rookies are going to have to carry towels, shoulder pads, etc. Sometimes these rookies are going to be told that they don't belong in whatever league or on whatever team they're on. Right? Sometimes, quite frankly, these rookies are not going to earn the trust of the veterans. Sometimes the veterans are going to welcome them in. It goes on in locker rooms. It goes on on college campuses at frat houses. Right? And so we're not unanimous as a culture here. Right? Just understand that maybe publicly everyone's hearing the story. They're hearing the audio tapes and they're saying, oh my God, how could any team have a Richie Incognito on it? I'm just here to tell you that there are some teams that want Richie and Cognito, right? I'm a betting man. I'm willing to say I believe that Richie Incognito, even if he's suspended by the league for some period of time, is ultimately going to resurface back in an NFL uniform, right? Understand that there are some people who hear this story and who feel it's overblown. Right? Some team leader was hazing some rookie, may have gone a little bit over the line, but understand not so much so that the team rejected the leader. Right? Understand, you know, incognito today is popular in the Miami Dolphin locker room. Maybe this hazing is news to the rest of us. The Miami Dolphin players knew that the hazing was going on, right? The person being hazed was a second round pick, right? High profile. And so, again, was it a hostile work environment? Absolutely. This is really more of a corporate league PR story then it is a story on whether Incognito is going to have an opportunity to continue his career, right? A lot of coaches won't blink in terms of bringing in a pro bowler who's popular with teammates. As I've said, Incognito had a lot of African-American friends on that team. A lot of people feel that a guy like Incognito has their back in the trenches in the fourth quarter of games. 
right? And just like we will overlook criminal convictions for boxers, criminal convictions for actors, domestic violence allegations for actors and musicians and other entertainers, right? Arrests of people in the entertainment industry. Just like we'll overlook all of that, eventually, rightly or wrongly, we're going to overlook this, right? Mark these words. Incognito will be back in an NFL uniform. Sooner or later, the NFL Players Association, and I understand, they have to represent both guys, right? The guy being taunted as well as incognito. But sooner or later, the NFL Players Association is going to have to draw a line and say, look, Richie Incognito didn't kill anybody. This was all tongue-in-cheek. I know $15,000 sounds like a lot of money to most people. Right In the world of the NFL, that's a tax levied on rookies by veterans trying to get the rookies to do things, right, to prove themselves to the team, trying to toughen up the rookie. Again, I'm not saying it's right, but what I am saying is people understand the culture. Incognito went over the line here, but not so much so where he's going to face a lifetime ban. We'll see what happens. Let me hear your thoughts. Tell me if I'm here condoning terrible behavior. Uh, tell me if uh, this thing is underreported or overblown. Tell me if Richie Incognito is Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy and must be banned for life. Tell me if actors who've had problems Right, domestic violence convictions, um, you know, admitted drug use, uh, activity like DUIs. Tell me if they should continue on in their craft. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.